I gotta be honest. It's easy to think about peace as a bubble. Ignoring the world so that you can chill out and get a little you time. Or, or maybe you think of peace as a simple agreement. You do your thing, I do mine. Then we don't have to worry about each other's problems or the ways we're different from each other. Or you might see peace as a big grand thing. General, this treaty officially ends all wars. But true peace doesn't look like any of that. True peace is messy. It takes hard work and creativity. It says, how can I listen to you first before I speak? It says, how can I learn what it's like to walk in your shoes before I try to fix it? How can we get creative to find a way through? See, when you do the hard work of making peace, others can see God at work in you. That's why making peace is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship, it's about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud.
What are you doing? I'm building a bridge. The waters are troubled. And, 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 and Brandon, did you know that your fingernails go four times as fast as your toenails? Really? Yes. And that you produce enough saliva to fill two bathtubs a year. Cool. We need to get started. There. Yeah, and eyelashes yeah. last for about 150 So, hey, everybody. I'm Brandon, and this is Lawson, and welcome to the So-and-So Show. Yes, where apparently you might get interrupted by your co-host. Lawson, we need to get started with the show. Yes, but you we cut can't... me off at a very crucial part of my fact giving kids out there could be seriously questioning the lifespan of an eyelash. 150 what? Hours? Years? They don't know, Brandon. It's 150 days, by the way. Eyelashes last for 150 days. Great. Are you done? Yes. Thank you. <gasps> no! Did you know that your blood has the same percentage of salt as ocean water? Actually, technically, uh, the blood is saltier than seawater if you read Wikipedia. <laughs> Brandon, you ruin everything. Yeah, well, your facts aren't interesting. Yeah, well, neither are your shoes. You don't even know what shoes I'm wearing. I don't need to. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Welcome. Come Thanks, on in. Guys. Mm -hmm. Here, here, here you are. Chair. I got it. I've got it. No, it's. Have a seat. You sit here. <clears throat> now. Tell us who you are and what you know. Yeah, I was supposed to ask her that. You snooze, you lose. Well, tell us who you are and what you know. I already asked her. Uh, is everything okay here? It's fine. Please continue. Tell us who, who you are, are and what, what you know. know. Okay. Well, my name is Bridget, and I'm a professional mediator. Hmm. Brandon wants to know what a mediator is. It's not true. I know what it is. I'm glad you asked. A mediator is someone who makes peace. Hmm. Someone who stands in the middle of a conflict helping people compromise or agree. <laughs> it's like building a bridge from one person to another. Cool. Yeah. It's kind of like my name, Bridget. If there is a problem, that is what I do. I bridge it. Oh. Are you two okay? Do you need me to mediate? We're fine. How does mediating work exactly? I'll show you. Let's bridge it. You have to clean your room before we watch the movie. But I can't do it in time. Why do we always have this argument? Oh, it's here. Oh. You can pretend you're a hero with super speed to clean your room lightning fast. And then you can wait until she's done before you start the movie. Problem solved. I'm sorry, who are you? Bridget. Yeah, kitty, kitty. Come on, get your den, den. Oh, come on, don't make me walk way over there. Oh, oh, oh. Bridget. Give it to me, it's mine. Nuh-uh, I'm the one who found it. Yeah, but I picked it up first. Yeah. Bridget. Wow, uh, you really do build a lot of bridges. You're welcome. I didn't say that. Well, I've got to go. There's lots of people out there needing my help. And just remember, if you two ever aren't getting along, don't let the gap stand in your way. All you have to do is just... Bridget? Bridget? That's my name. Bridget. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Ooh. 
Hi, Kellen. Hey, guys. Today's Bible story is a great one, so let's hop right to it. The verse is Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. Paul wrote, Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. Back to you guys. Back to us? What do you mean? That was like two sentences. Three sentences, actually. But yes, sometimes one little verse in the Bible can pack a whole lot into it. Um, okay, but... You want to unpack it? That would be great. Here it is again. Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. It's like this. Meet Brian and Ava. Where's my notebook? I didn't take it. Well, I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> That's not my fault. If I don't find that notebook by tomorrow, I'm going to get a zero on my homework. Aw, bummer for you. I'm going to play with my friends. Goodbye. Freeze. Brian and Ava are brother and sister. But sometimes, and I don't know if this happens to you, but sometimes brothers and sisters fight. They're not at peace. So what would happen if they let the peace that Christ gives rule in their hearts? Rewind! Where's my notebook? Oh, uh, I haven't seen it. Well, I can't find it anywhere. Have you checked the kitchen? Yes, but if I don't find that notebook by tomorrow, I'm going to get a zero on my homework. Well, I was going to play outside with my friends, but I guess I can help you look instead. Thanks, Brian. Let's go. See the difference? Instead of letting anger and fear be in charge, they let peace take over. Peace ruled their hearts, and that's how it should be. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace. That means making peace is our responsibility. Like this. I want grilled cheese for dinner. I want tacos. Didn't we just have tacos? Yeah, but tacos are my favorite. Grilled cheese is my favorite. So what do we do? Grilled cheese tacos. Grilled cheese taco? Isn't that a quesadilla? Anyway, Ava and Brian, they did something called compromise. They both gave up a little bit of what they wanted to make peace. It's important to remember that even when we disagree, we can still have peace with each other. So let's see that verse one more time. Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. Back to you guys. Awesome. You were right, Kellen. One Bible verse packs in a whole lot, and all we have to do is remember it now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Next time you're in an argument, don't let your anger take charge. Let the peace that Jesus gives rule your heart. We'll try, Kellen. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. See you guys. Bye. Brandon? Yes, Lawson? I don't want to fight anymore. Yeah, I agree. I'd much rather have peace. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Yeah. Come here, you! Oh. <laughs> We're never gonna have a conflict ever again okay. because we bridged it. Okay. We bridged it. I'm so, let's, so sorry. Let's it's take not it, gonna happen let's take it anymore. One, all right. Let's take it one episode at a time, if that's all right. Okay. Yeah. Reveal the question! Who do you need to make peace with? Whether it's a sibling, a co-host, a parent, a teacher, a friend, a neighbor, a grandma, second cousin once removed, second cousin twice removed. You get the picture. We all have a lot of different types of people and relationships in our lives. Uh, or a hot dog vendor, or a disc jockey, or a mail carrier, or a used car salesman, <laughs> or a, a Talk new Talk about it together. Who do you need to make peace with? Or a babysitter, or a Mountie, or that woman whose hands out that samples at the grocery store that you just eat them all the time, and you just can't stop, and you can't okay. stop. I'm Brandon. Just, and I am lost. And this was the so-and-so so -so show. show. <laughs> do you have any more? No. <laughs> All right, yeah, see if you can guess the answer to this. How many noses does a slug have? Three. No, that's close though, they have four noses. The fingerprints of a koala are so indistinguishable from humans that they have on occasion been confused at crime scenes. A snail can sleep for three years. Oh man, I envy him. The only animal that can't jump is the elephant. 
3% of the ice in Antarctica glaciers is penguin urine. Okay, good night, <laughs> good night everybody. <laughs>